one, lesson 34. This is greatest common factor, okay? Now, so far, when we've learned greatest common factor, for example, of 18 and 24, what are the factors of 18 and what are the factors of 24? The factors of 18 are um, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, anything else? Nope. Okay, so then I'm going to put them in order. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Got it? Now let's find the factors of 24. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. That's it, right? Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Alright, let's find the common factors. 1, 2, 3, 6, 6. That's it. So what's the greatest common factor? 6. 6. Okay, so up to this point, you've learned how to do this like this. Now you're going to add letters into the problems. Okay, so stay with me. Um, for example... Um, let's actually, before we, well, let's have letters to it, but I want to do something real quick first. X, Y squared, Z, and remember, always put the line on the Z so we can make sure that, that you know, that that's a Z. Okay, three. Now, I'm going to break this whole number down, and how we do that is we want to make, do the factors and find all the prime factors. So how do we do factors, prime factors? How do we break it down? Factors are very good. Very good. So 21 times 10. All right. 7 times 3. Both of those are prime. And 5 and 2. Both of those are prime. So if I broke this down, it would be 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Okay? Now, this X, there's just one of them. There's two Y's. And then there's three Z's. Okay? This is expanding it to the fullest it can be. All right. Now, it's important that you just saw, oh, what I just did. We're going to do that on these next ones, but it's going to become a problem because you're going to try to find the greatest common factor of that. So, for example, stay with me. Here we go. 8z to the fourth power, m second power, p, and you can put one if you want to. Minus 12, x to the third power, m to the fourth power, p to the second power. All right. You're going to start with your numbers, and you're actually not even going to minus, even though it says to minus it. You're actually just um, extending both of them and finding what's common. Okay? So let's extend this one first. What would my factors be for 8? 8 and 1. 4 and 2. Oh. And then 2, and then 2, and 2, right? Yeah. So this will become 2 times 2 times 2, uh -huh. right? Now let's take Z four times, M twice, and P one. Now let's do 12. 6 and 2. 6 and 2. 3 and 2 three. and 3. Very good. So it will become, I'm just going to put it underneath, 2, two times 2 times 3, right? Mm -hmm. X okay. X. X X, X, let me make sure something real quick. Oops, I said that wrong. This is a Z. Huh, I knew I had done something wrong because I was like, wait a minute, we didn't do that. Okay, so let's try this now. Z, 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 four M's, one, two, three, four, and two P's. Now, you're going to circle what's common. Two and two, two and two, and then I can't circle any more twos or threes because there's not any. 1z, 2z's, 3z's, but I can't do another z, m, m, one more, p, and p. So now you take what you have that both of them have, 2 and a 2, and what is that? That makes 4, right? Yep. 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, there are 3z's, 2m's, one p. and 1p. That's your answer. So that's how you do it. Okay, so once you extend everything, you only put the ones that are common. 
yep. and make it into one answer. Got it? Uh -huh. All right, let's try a few more. Just make sure you're getting it. All right, here comes another one. Find the, it says this. Find the greatest common factor of 4x squared, y cubed, z, and you can put one if you want to, minus 8, y squared, x, and we'll put one, x to the fourth power, and then z to the 30. Okay, now let's break this down. 2 and 2. 2, two times 2. X and X, Y, 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 and 1Z, minus, I'm going to want to put it underneath, 4, four and two. 2, so it's going to become 2 times 2 times 2. Now, if I were you, since you did X, Y, Z, I would want to do X, then Y, then Z. There's 1X, Y, and there's two of them, and three Z's. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to. If you want to break it up the other way, that's fine. You just need to still look for common. So 2 and 2, 1x, one 1x, one two y's, two y's, a z and a z. And that's what's common. So you multiply 2 times 2, 4, four. x, 1x, y squared, 2 y. squared, and z to the 1. Just you put whatever. All right, feel like you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do one more. You want to do one more problem? But you can go and do your work if you want to, unless you feel like you want to watch this next one. Find the greatest common factor. And this just gives us three of them. So 16x squared y p to the third power minus 4 x cubed y squared p plus 2x squared y squared P15. <laughs> now they give a pretty large number on that one, but it's okay. You're still going to do the same problem. Remember, you're not minusing or plusing. You're just finding, it says, find the greatest common factor. So it has nothing to do with adding or subtracting. That's just what you're trying to do with these numbers is find the greatest common factor. So on this one, it's going to become 4 times 4, which is then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I'm going to want to write that down. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2x's. Two a Y and three P's. All right, done with that one. Now let's do four, um, four and then which is two times two. So I'm going to bring that down, two times two. Then I have three X's, two Y's, and one P. Done with that one. Now let's do this one, two, which is just two. And then X times X, two Y's, and 15 P's. Now, if you don't want to write out 15 P's, you can already see that the other ones don't have that many. So you can just stop. Okay, or if you want to, go and write out 15 P's. Okay, now I'm going to go and find out what's common. 2, 2, and 2. So this one has to have all three that are common. Okay, then I have an X, an X, and an X on that one. Another X, another X, and another X. Good. Now we go to Y's. There's not another X. Okay, so then Y y and y and then there's not another y up here even though there is in these two but it's not common among the all three then we have one p one p and one p then we have two other p's no p's and then several p's so since there's not another common among all three we just stop there so then we have two is what's common two x's is what's common among the, these all three of these one Y and one P. And that is your final answer. Two X squared YP. And that is lesson 34.